still in good condition. No, it's not. It's still in good condition, man. I disagree. It's got no holes in it. That's surprising for any of my shirts. They're like five years old. Did you get it in high school? No, I got it at a flea market when I was in high school. Because this this was this came out when I was like elementary, middle school. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I remember that. the big push. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm wearing it because like the roommate that one of the roommates that I have at the moment, the reason he's like the main reason I'm I'm, I'm moving out of the house. Mm-hmm. It's just fucking weird, you know. People are just like, you get, I get like, if I meet someone, I'm pretty good at being like you're a, a judge of character. Yeah, uh-huh. and he's just very shifty. Yeah. He's just very. He doesn't work. He's been unemployed, which I understand in the climate right now is Uh not a problem. But he's not working because he decided he didn't want to. He worked at MGM and they offered him to be hired back. And he was like, I just don't want to go. I don't want to go back to work right now in the climate. He just wanted to hold on to that unemployment check. Uh And then that, then that stopped and everyone is, I don't know how much everyone is on the paycheck, but they're not getting that extra amount of money. So all he does is just stay home all day and, he plays the video games, orders a lot of food. And like, was he legit, shit. like, scared to go back no, to work? No. Uh-huh. No. Did uh, he sound like it? No. He's just a... Like, did it change? Like, was he, like, really about it at first? And then, like, he got less and less worried about it? No, he's Like, just, his demeanor changed? No. Or has he, he been from he, the beginning? No, like, he, like, he said, like, one thing about it, and then he hasn't, like, he's just happy. So, the, the place we're at now, the rent's not that much. So, uh-huh. like, unemployment, if you make, like off employment like 350 a week you mm-hmm. can stay at that house just stay on unemployment right and that's what he's decided to do uh-huh. so i mean it's just angering in that fact but he wants to host poker events at our house uh-huh. and he's going to have one on monday this week at eight o'clock at night in our like on a work week on a work week on the uh-huh. main room uh-huh and i move out in like two weeks and i was like so he said that and i was like hey like you mind holding it off until like I'm out? Mm-hmm. He's like, I gotta make money somehow, man. I gotta pay rent. It's like that's what he said to you. Yeah, I said, well, how'd you get a job? <laughs> I said, a job. He goes, it's so hard to find a job right now. I'm like, it's really it's not. not really. Yeah, casinos could use your help. Yeah, not. It's not really. So he goes, all right. Well, how about this? How about if it, it gets too loud? Because like I go to bed at like eight o'clock, eight thirty. Like, yeah. Um. Even for our I've job, I've texted you at I, like nine o'clock yeah, and you don't respond. I to have the to next get morning. eight hours. That's my thing. Like uh-huh. I like to sleep. I uh-huh. gotta get it. So he's like, how about this? If it gets too loud, you can go upstairs and sleep in my room. Ew. Like, fuck. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. This dude is, I, he looks like he's 40. He, uh-huh. he might be my age around thirties, but he's he, had a hard life. He, no, he's like the guy who he's just stays, life. plays computers all day. He looks all, he's like greasy like kind of looking. Yeah. Man, the South Park. Man, the bucket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, he's like, yeah, you can sleep in my room. And I was just like, Ew. what? So uh, he spent like $400 on like a poker table and some chairs. And well, ev- he's trying to do it legit. Every morning when I walk up, I walk past it and walk up the stairs to go take a shower. I have stopped myself from pissing on that table. Really? So that, oh. I don't know what stopped me from doing it, but I want to piss on it. So the fact that when everyone starts playing, they're like, this table smells like fucking piss. And no one wants, I, I have, I've held in a lot. So does he like clean it off and stuff? Like if something gets on, no, he's just, no, he, he got it from an old guy. He paid, uh-huh. like he went and scooped it up from the dude's house, put on top. So of it's legit. Car. I mean, yeah, it's a, but it's not like a super cool table. It's uh-huh. just a heavy ass fucking piece of plywood table. They, they added the stuff to it. But okay. Plywood. Yeah. So I've, I've just, I used to smoke and uh-huh. being around this guy makes me want to smoke again. So I have to keep my, my shirt on Your dare shirt, my dare shirt. Um, just drink. Yeah. I don't like alcohol that much. And so I'm switching my ginger ale now brought to you by brought to you by Harris, Harris, Cedar. Harris Cedar's ginger ale, ginger, ginger ale, taste the mountains. Um, what's about to do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't, uh, like I'm, I'm glad that it was like a can so- shortage a few months ago. Mm. Right. It's not, that's not a fresh, ginger ale has been in the fridge for a little bit but um the uh they had a can shortage so like seagram's wasn't making anything so my mm-hmm. wife got that for me so i can make mixed drinks and you know i was disappointed in the product you know really yeah it's kind of it's it's like he- crown it's heavier than a normal crown royal 
and Seagram's ginger ale. I don't think there's a better drink than that. It's like the smoothest ginger beer. Have you had that? Yeah, I got some of that in the first. I two. like I like the mix of that rather than there's ginger ale. No ginger beer. No. Nope. I, like I mean, I haven't tried. Mule. It. Yeah, what? What I like those. Um, Maryland mule. What's in that? Uh, that would be a lime, a ginger beer, and then a whiskey. I forget the whiskey that's made in Baltimore. See, um, thick Sagamore. That's you made in Baltimore. It's made in Baltimore. Hmm. Yeah, so that's called a Maryland mule. I had one or two. That's like my favorite drink, it. though. That's I'll good. try it. Hmm? I'll try it. It's expensive, but it's it's pretty good whiskey. But um, yeah, I would, I would, I wouldn't know how to act. I mean, because I've been on my own so long, like I wouldn't know how to go live with other people. Well, I've lived with know. other people a lot. Uh huh. And what I've Is learned this common. No, the other guys are great, man. Uh -huh. The other guys I've never had a problem with. They understand like space There's and boundaries. when to interact. Yeah. yeah. This dude is just he doesn't clean up after himself. And even the guy who found him uh -huh. is apologizing to us. He's like, I'm sorry, like I brought him in the house. Uh huh. He's just fucking creepy. Yeah. Like, I don't know. He uh So what's the other people think about this eight o'clock game? Well, all the other guys at the house either work at MGM mm -hmm. or play poker like professionally. Mm-hmm. So they're either going to be working or like eight o'clock playing at eight o'clock isn't like a hassle for them. If they stay in their rooms, they don't like I'm sleeping. Everyone else is up at that time. Mm -hmm. Um, Like I almost punched him in the face yesterday because I got home, got home at like almost three o'clock, took a shower, threw on some sweatpants and a t-shirt and got out of my room and I walked to make some food and he's just getting out of bed and he's like, oh, good morning, man. And for some reason. I wanted to punch him so hard in the face. Ew, you like, sound like a dad. Like, like okay, a, boomer. You know what I mean? That's what you sound like. No, like, go fuck yourself. Uh -huh. Like, say good morning, like, as if I just woke up and, like, I'm the same as you. No, I, I don't know. It just made me really mad. Uh -huh. but <clears throat> Was your hair still wet? What hair? Like, were you still glistening in the sun? No, no, no. I had changed. Uh -huh. No, I don't glisten. You do. I wish. Yeah. I think you glisten when you get out. Your beard's not, like, dried You've off. You've seen all me the out of the shower? No, I don't think so. I could just imagine. I, I just so. dream of it. I just That's, dream of it. That makes sense. <laughs> but, actually, the first uh, this is a really good story. The first time I ever smoked weed before <clears throat> I was I was eighteen years old, uh -huh. and uh, it was on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, uh, and I went to like this house party. Green, 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 dude. Right? Yeah, and, uh -huh. but I had never smoked at that time. We go to this house party over where I used to live at, and this guy, who's like two years older than me, <laughs> comes and sits down at a table. I'm having a beer. And he pulls out a baggie and like flips it open and there's got to be like an eighth or like a quarter in there. Mm -hmm. There's a fair amount. And he's like, we're smoking all this tonight. <laughs> and I didn't know it. Then he's just like, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah. So he starts smoking and I'm getting like really high, uh -huh. like uncomfortably high. Yeah. And have you ever gotten to the point you get so high you think you're going to throw up or you, oh, yeah. or you do throw up? Uh -huh. So that was my first experience. So I'm getting like pale in the face and dry heaving uh -huh. and I'm like, all right, I got to go outside. And that particular St. Patty's Day, it was, it was snowing. Uh -huh. So I'm out in like the cold and it like feels good, but I'm like heaving over the side, but right. nothing's coming out. And I heave so hard. I sit down in the snow and I'm like hurting, but I feel like I got to throw <laughs> up and I turn around and I dry heave. And I'm like, I think I shit my pants. No way. So I'm outside and I'm like, but I, you don't know, like, cause I, your pants might just be wet from sitting in the snow or like right. you don't know Correct. if you shit your pants because you've never been you've never been high never. before. Uh -huh. So I think this I shit all my new. pants. Uh -huh. So oh I get I get close to the door to go inside and I grab my oh buddy. My I like flag him down. I'm like, dude, I shit my pants. You gotta help me to the bathroom. Like, uh -huh. like be a blocker. I'm I'm high. I'm thinking it's like a Mission Impossible. I'm yeah, like Tom Cruise passing. Yeah, everybody. you're adding so much. Like, what's going on over <laughs> no here? No one cares. No one gives a fuck. If I were to walk in, no one would have noticed. But like. They but this they high dude who's like, doo -doo -doo -doo, uh -huh. doo -doo -doo. <laughs> were you like just smeared it across the wall? <laughs> right? uh, so was it, up. was there a trail? Like, uh, that's not me. I didn't do that. that. You know, <laughs> just like one <laughs> long streak from follows. the door. Yeah. So I go to the bathroom. That's like, it's like 20 feet or 15 feet to the left. Uh huh. Powder room. And I just take the pants off. I'm like, I shit myself. I close the door. Uh huh. I thought I closed the door. I shit. <laughs> 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 I pulled down my pants. And then I realized I had sat in snow uh -huh. and it melted and made my ass wet. Yeah. And I just thought. And so I'm like, I pulled out my pants, realized, and I go, 
<laughs> and when I look, almost every single person <laughs> is looking at me, not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. The music stop. Yeah, just uh-huh. looking at me going, whoo, looking uh-huh. at my dick. <laughs> <laughs> and i was so fucked i was still fucked up after that like uh, for the whole night i was on the couch like you're that guy completely embarrassed uh-huh. yeah you're seth rogan in that uh, movie uh can't hardly wait or whatever uh, i would see that what he, what he gets just he's like, like the dude that has like the it's like a classic 90s movie never can't hardly wait uh uh-huh. you said you said seth rogan uh-huh. in a 90s movie yeah S- seth rogan no not seth rogan <laughs> what's the what's the be uh Scotty zip it when he was <laughs> what's oh, that dude's name um seth green seth green that's yeah, it. I almost yeah. said tom green uh, <laughs> i was close dude i was close <laughs> no you weren't you were like 15 years off i think they're both jewish that's might be the closest thing uh, they, that's uh, the closest thing they have going uh, one's like four feet tall i forgot what we were talking about why <laughs> oh, seth green God. Why did I bring up Seth Green? I don't know. We were talking about what I... Uh, oh, Can't Hardly Wait. Yeah, I don't know. Turn, right. Trying to bring Once I'm, I'm just trying to show you the... Um, just trying to show you the cover. That's it right there in the middle. You've seen that. You've seen that movie. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah. I have seen uh-huh. that. Oh, yeah. When he's got yeah. like the backpack full of like yeah. supplies for uh-huh. sex. Yeah. yeah, that's you. Yeah. Sorry that reference took... Yeah, I mean, the show. Sorry, yeah. I didn't get that one, but I have yeah. seen that movie. But yeah, I was just passed out on the couch. That was my first experience. It was a terrible, terrible experience. But. <clears throat> I was in um, eighth grade. I lived in Illinois. And that was the first time I ever got stoned. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, uh, so wait. A couple older kids. How old were you? Um. 14 oh young guy yeah man i was yeah. terrified of weed yeah yeah i like started playing i was a singer in a band with in my eighth grade class God, with like do you have the any first kids do you have any audio that i met that? um no not that band but uh the the uh the drummer his dad toked you know and i'm like mm-hmm. dude you can't take that he's like what's he gonna say did you take my weed and i was like all right that's a good point <laughs> good. so you know we got we, Ten foil bowl mm. he made and and we all smoked it and then like we got a ride to this girl's birthday for party. The brain. Yeah, it wasn't. That's we how got, you get dementia. And like all of us are just staring out the window. You know what I mean? Like mm. the same window. <laughs> you know, just completely baked. And we get to this girl's uh birthday party that she invited us to mm. and we ate all like she had like sandwiches <laughs> with the three of us out. <laughs> yeah we ate a whole tray sandwiches. of sandwiches and then we left because there wasn't anything else to leave he's like I'm, I'm leaving and it was only like 15 blocks from his house <laughs> so yeah we just walked back to his house yeah that's... by the time we got back to his place like that shitty weed had worn off, <laughs> had worn but, off. <laughs> yeah and we had belly aches and that was tired first, yeah uh-huh that's not a bad night though it wasn't yeah. that age yeah can't be it's different. <laughs> That's pretty good though. <clears throat> and then um so that was a drummer's house, but uh the guitar player's house, his parents were like split up, but they lived like a mile away mm-hmm. from each other. And like I would hang out over there. I could walk to his house, but it was like a mile, you know, but my dad didn't really care. Mm-hmm. I would stay the night over there. And I was the first person I ever spent the night over, and they they had birds, you know. Well, like parrots yeah i don't know i mean just or macaws I, they were like the white ones or with the african orange, grays with the orange tips it's a toucan the, i don't know a well, fucking bird man you know what i mean i didn't get it and then like you know like I three in the morning you're waking cockatoo. up is it the one with the hair go uh-huh. like that yeah pretty sure it's kind and they would talk yeah yeah pretty sure it's and i was too. whatever dude that's motherfucker scared <laughs> me dude i don't know i stayed over there once that was it that was it so we, bird. uh we uh we smoked pot in his uh, shed, you know, mm-hmm. and like the neighbor was like outside. She watched us walk in there and it was like raining his ass off. She was smoking a cigarette and we didn't even stop and like go back in the house or anything. We just continued on with the mission. Like she's not going to know what we're doing in there. And then when we opened up the door, it was just like a wall of smoke came out. So <laughs> then we just went back into it's his like house a boy and band out the window. Out of yeah. Uh-huh. With just some like skunk, you know. You gotta love that. Yeah. That's your, yeah, the good old days. Yeah, that was when you were like nap, like before Napster, you know. Mm-hmm. But everybody had Winamp. 
And that's how you listen to your music on Winamp. You don't I don't know what that. I don't even know what that is. Okay. All right. Uh, I just go as far back as Napster. <laughs> yeah. Before Napster, you can find, uh, it was like, I don't know. There wasn't categories of stuff. You could, you just had to like go through files and mm -hmm. then open up like a letter and then pick a band. And then from there you could download, it would be a ton of the same songs. You know what I mean? And some of them were like really shitty mm -hmm. process and some of them were like pretty good. So you would download like 10, then just, you'd have to listen to hope, them all, and have then one that like hits. one was good. Yeah. It was a long process and not everybody's music was up. Napster really took it to like the next level, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, I, I remember when that hit off. And then we got uh, my brother saved up all his money. He got a CD burner, mm -hmm. the, the one you like, hooked into the computer and was his own little thing. <clears throat> yeah, he wouldn't let anyone touch that. That was like his that first band. That was going to be the first concert I was ever going to go to when I lived in that city. And I lived, we lived like it was like less than ten miles from St. Louis, so it was like a small town, mm -hmm. but like close to the big city. Like you know, it was. I liked it. I thought it was a nice area. And uh, O'Fallon, Illinois, shout out, you know. <laughs> Small town. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, it was it was interesting living there. I forgot what I was talking about. You were talking about, about the band for Napster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, there was like a small record store, mm -hmm. you know, and we used to go shop there as kids. And uh, the drummer kid had a CD burner, and he bought a burned copy of like, family values tour with like corn and Limp mm -hmm. biscuit and stuff. And it was so like, you could tell somebody recorded it at the concert, then put it on a CD. No, it, was that but bad. it was like, but it was, it sounded like it was pretty, pretty good. Right. But you could tell that's what it was. It would clip sometimes and you know, it would get muffled. Like he dropped it and then picked it back up, but he paid like $30 for it. And then we held it up to the light and you could see through it. And he's like, this shit's fake, but it was a burned yeah, it's the old, yeah, CD. It's yeah. Yeah, if anyone actually sees an actual CD, they are see through. Solid. Yeah, they're uh -huh. see through. Um, but the ones you buy from like a CD making yeah, are, company, are. yeah, you can't see through. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. But we played it like a thousand times, and he finally made me a copy when he got a CD burner too. That was a big day. Yeah, those were. That was a big day. Before that, it was you know hit and record. Oh, the glory days. Yeah, uh huh. That was. You could talk on the mic. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you could record. Now I feel like we're old. Like, backwards. This is what we're going to be talking about when we're super old. Because yeah. it's like, we had to hit the pause and the record at the same time. The radio would yeah. fucking press, like the DJ be talking over your jam. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Like, Try to make a mixtape for my girl. Exactly. Huh? What do I, or, yeah. or like, yeah. Yeah. Did that ever work out? Mixtapes? They would have if we would actually would have handed them over to the girl. You know, you just held on to all those mixtapes. I gave some away. Did you? Uh-huh. So obviously it, never, it didn't work. It didn't so work for me, obviously, right? Yeah, obviously not. I just learned how to play an instrument. Yeah. And it still didn't Did work. That, yeah. <laughs> still, I mean, I've got still my started. wife. Still. Yeah. So it, it worked. The first one I met, I married. <laughs> there you go. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> this is fate. Yeah. <laughs> this is fate. Mm. Yeah, those were, I do remember those days. Then you can like, people used to make CDs for like road trips. Like when MP3s like were, that was a ready thing. Like and you buy a car and it was MP3 ready. Yeah. You know, like that was huge, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. That's the original iPod. Yeah. You could make categories and stuff of MP3s I, on your like. Well, I, I remember taking my, uh, taking my CD player, like my portable one uh -huh. with an aux cord and being able to put it in my car. Yeah. Because Dude, tape deck or just a. No, just then the, oh, oh yeah, so yeah, because you have uh, the one that feed in the tape deck and then go in there, you're right. Yeah. yeah, and then after that, they got the ox cord. Yeah. Huh? God, I had forgot about those. Yeah. They had one. Those were magical. How do those even work? They had a tape one for your iPod. Like it was a stereo jack. Yeah. How, how does how does it even work with the tape? How it's just it? a loop. It, the tape just keeps going through both sides. And, and it plays it's reading, it through the, oh. It's reading it off the head. It's magnetic induction. It's you, scientist. Uh, it's sending a signal to the tape. And yeah. the tape head reads the tape. Yeah, I was always mind blown by that. Well, it's not that hard. Yeah, That's yourself. all the time we have for today. Uh, please check out any engineering and video. stay off drugs, kids. How tapes are We care used. about you. Thank you. Please subscribe. <laughs>